Okay, in the previous video I mentioned that we were going to put a part across the two gantry sides. In the book, this is part O. It's also called the Y-axis rail support. This top edge and this bottom edge is going to be uh, chamfered so that another rail like this will sit on top and on bottom. Now what I want you to notice is that this piece is too long. It's too lo it won't fit between the, between the sides. It's actually got about almost a half inch, I'm sorry, a three quarter inch um, longer than it needs to be. We just never trimmed We never trimmed this piece. This is another one of those pieces, oh, that in the book will we'll warn you, don't cut this piece too soon until you need it. What we've done is we've measured again the distance from inside this edge to the inside of that edge and we'll trim this piece. We're going to chamfer this part first using a router um, and then we'll trim it to where it'll fit between those two angles right there. And technically, if we've done this right, it should pretty much be the same length as this bottom piece down here, part P. When you're, when you're um, building this thing, it's important that the gantry sides be perfectly vertical and parallel when you take this measurement. Now, if this piece is just a hair shorter or longer uh, than this, it, it's, it, there's a little wiggle room here because these pieces can move just a little bit. But the idea is that you want the sides to be as parallel as possible. 